Right, we're going to take you through this morning a bit of a demonstration drive just to help you with positioning of the vehicle, what I'm looking at uh, as, part, as part of the HGV test. You will hear me using certain terminologies like I will be directing to the crown of the road. The crown of the road as a white line stand in the centre of the road. We'll be using that to, to help us position the unit to get a trail around the corner. Uh, hopefully in the cameras you will see the positioning and the steering to get us there. I'll also use things like aim for the gravel. This is for learner drivers who just get into the cab on their first day um, and they want to know how to get an articulated trailer around. Now we do rely on our mirrors and we will be relying on our mirrors however for the first probably hour or so of your first lesson it helps you understand and put the truck where the truck needs to be to enable it to get round corners. So listen to the terminology um, and just watch the video and see how it goes. We're going to turn right at this junction. Now we're in an articulated vehicle, so we're mirror signal. We're not going to go into that uh, right hand turn lane because it's too narrow and we need to get the trailer past the bollards. So we just keep the bollards to our right shoulder. Mirror checks, including the near side mirror for kick out of the trailer. And then as we come round the corner, we're using a guide, the crown of the road, the white lines. So we're taking the unit over, checking the near side mirror to make sure now that the trailer clears. The trailer clears the left, looking ahead, there's a vehicle approaching, so I'm just going to keep moderate throttle, allow the oncoming vehicle, because he's already at the hazard in the road, which is the parked cars. Check my right mirror. Now, this is Garrett's Green, and we're about to approach um, a fairly well-known hazard on the test route. There are a lot of students tend to miss. So here, it's very important that as we approach, if you look to the left, you'll see the red triangle with a yellow background, and that says low bridge, 11 foot six, and our vehicle is over 14 feet. So mirrors, signal, you've got no choice. You cannot go obviously under the bridge. You've got a mirror, signal, and come left, avoiding the low bridge, which is down to the right. This roundabout, again, is a very difficult roundabout for the class one. As you approach tile cross roundabout, approach over the crown of the road towards into the hatchets. As we come into the roundabout, keep the speed low. Take the unit in, then check your mirrors, make sure you've cleared that corner. Take the unit over to the left, as you can see, then over to the curb. Now, what we've got to do, left signal on for brake off, Bring the trailer by looking in your right mirror, but only scanning into the roundabout, over into the hatchet markings, harsh over, undo the steering, lock it back in. Now keep it tight to the bollards, check and make sure that the trailer comes through that gap with approximately half a foot of space. You can get it a bit further than that if you try a bit harder than I do. At this point, the examiner may turn around to you and give you an, uh, an order of saying, please pull over at the first safe and convenient location on the left side. So he's given us that instruction. And as you can see, there's lots of drop curbs, bus stops in front. So we're not going to pull over here. Now, when he gives you that, uh, that instruction, don't panic and suddenly start looking and thinking his means immediately. He doesn't. In this instance, we're checking the mirrors, come to the crown, I'm still looking for somewhere safe. Well, obviously, it's junctions left and right, bollards, it's not safe here. However, up ahead on the left, I'm going to check the mirrors, signal left, nice and smooth on the brakes, just after the first drop curb and before the second. Use the near side mirror. Again, don't stare at mirrors, though. Make sure that you're just scanning. As you can see, my head moving quite a lot. And when you're stationary, part brake goes on, cancel signal, leave the vehicle in gear because on your test, he will do this pull in, pull out between three and five times. If you put it into neutral and he asks you to pull away, you may, because of your nerves, you may just leave it in neutral, go to pull away and you'll rev and you won't go anywhere. In fact, you may even roll back, which could be a fail because you have lost control of the vehicle. So at no point during your test, once you leave your test station at the start, right to the end, leave the gears alone. So it's like that. 
Now, when he asks you to pull away, he's gonna ask you to pull away from this point, then you must first check your mirrors and don't immediately put your indicator on. What you're doing is you're looking for a gap in the traffic. So you'll see me scanning my mirrors. Now, if the traffic is heavy, then what I would say is give it about 30 to 40 seconds. If you can't find a gap after about 30 to 40 seconds, then by all means, then you can put your signal on to ask permission. But if you put your signal on immediately, you're gonna force the vehicles behind possibly to slow down. And that could be classed as a fail because you're forcing the vehicles to slow down. So we're gonna pull away now. I'm gonna try and do it in a safe manner. So I'm checking the mirrors. We've got a bit of traffic coming up from behind. So I'll let that clear. Once we get a gap in the traffic, we're going to follow our procedures for pulling away. A couple more cars. Oncoming is now clear. Last car. So, mirror, signal, blind spot checks, and away we go. And if you look in the rear view mirrors, we haven't affected anyone from behind or in front. So we're away and we're clean. That's how the examiner wants you to do it. And we are going to turn left at the lights. Now, a lot of drivers or a lot of new drivers might think that looking at this left turn, you need to cover the lanes. You don't. You can put yourself in lane. And the reason we know this is if we have a quick look at how much space we've got in front of the vehicle to take the unit out to get the trail around, means that we can stay in our lane to do this. And the exit from the lights is also wide. So we've got plenty of room to get this vehicle round. So we're going to put left signal, check, check, blind spots, and off we go. Out we go, left turn, checking the mirrors, we go to the wide angled mirror at the bottom. And as we turn, we undo the steering, check the headboard, check the trailer, away we go. So we're coming up to, what, again, one of the major roundabouts for Garrett's Green test station. It's very close to Garrett's Green. It's, we know it as McDonald's roundabout. We're gonna turn left, first exit. We're coming from Tile Cross. Now, again, this roundabout, you can get cars coming down the right-hand side of the vehicle, which can cause a problem if you're trying to enter the roundabout. So what we're gonna do is gonna use a method called blocking. We'll check the mirrors, and then I'm gonna take up the whole roadway to stop cars coming around the left or the right. I've checked that white car coming in from the left, he's safe. We're using the blocking method, mirrors, signal. Again, adjust the speed, watch the bus. The bus is on going left, he's got his indicator, so I'm pretty sure he's, he's gonna go there. So into the roundabout, deep, deep, now, there's the gravel, look for the gravel. You can use that, then as we come round, check your near side mirror for trailer, and then undo the steering out on the crown of the road. That will keep the trailer away from the near side curve, from the left curve. Nice and smooth. Look at what's happening, nobody there. Now, with these mini roundabouts, you've got to show the examiner that you're willing to steer. You can't go through the roundabout, you've got to go around the roundabout. You do not have to indicate for exit because it's too short a distance, but you do have to make a minor show that you're actually steering the vehicle. We're going to do a second one of those. And as we approach, nice and smooth, check the mirrors, nice and smooth. Make sure he's coming off, I'm pretty sure he is. We'll let him go, there he goes. In we come. Little minor steer around. Yes, the trailer's going to catch that roundabout just a little bit, but there's not much you can do with the size of vehicles. Back. We're following the road ahead. Second exit, approach on the crown. We're on the crown now. The, now we've approached. It is clear at the moment, so in we go. Around, over to the gravel to the left this time, over to the left curb, break off signal, tuck the trailer back into the roundabout. Then into the gravel coming off, undo the steering on the crown of the road, and that will keep the trailer away from that curb and stop you curbing the trailer. Again. Now, if we scan right ahead, there's a blue sign for a bus lane in lane one. So near side, front right, blind spot, 
rolling ahead. Now, I've got lots of traffic down my right hand side. I need to maneuver lane. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue moving. I'm gonna put, put a signal on. No, and I'm not gonna move until someone gives way and holds back for me. Now the white Nissan in the rear in the mirror is holding back. I'm now maneuvering over. Cancel signal. I'm now checking my position by my mirrors. Again, red light, so smooth on the brakes. I'd like it to go green. We're outside Jaguar Land Rover at Solihull, front gate. There's the green light. I'm keeping the vehicle moving. Check the mirrors and continue. Be, be careful of cars here undertaking and seeing the bus lane late. They will cut in front, as has the Nissan. So we've got to be mindful of that, but plenty of space, let them go. The one behind has just done the same, and the other one's already in the bus lane doing the same. So be aware of car drivers who obviously are not being able to see the signs early enough and allow for them. Now, I don't want to arrive at that roundabout with the queue in traffic. What I want to arrive at is when all that traffic's in the roundabout, it might enable me to keep this vehicle moving. So the last car is going in now, he's in, check the mirrors, off the gas. Now, it says two lane approach, but it's quite narrow. So again, I'm going to dominate the road here. Both lanes, cover both. Now, check off what's coming. He's got an indicator and he's in position to turn left. So I'm happy to go in. Keep the vehicle moving out to the wide, break off signal, plenty of room here, dual carriageway, and crossing is clear. Stay to the crown of the road, improve your vision round, and you've got a red light. So again, no need for throttle. 